Yeah, it was extremely fast, and uh, there was also the difficulty of today's race. So it was, um, yeah, really difficult to make a gap and to keep the gap, especially because you know, constantly you had uh, when you was in second place behind them, then you always had a point to ride through. So that, was, that made it really hard to really get away. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing, like, you've been changing positions as well, you started off really well, then fall behind a bit. Was there any tactic behind or it just, like, came out, like, intentionally, like, it just happened? Um, yes, well, there was a little bit of tactic behind, of course, I also knew it's a risk, but because still, when you're going to sit in the back of a group, your meat is behind, you always need to ride fast, and if there's something happening in between, um, yeah, then you need to close the gap, but, um, yeah, the, yeah, it was for me the option on that moment to say okay take a little brief and uh, see what you think about what you can do the last lap <laughs> and hope that it uh, will work out yeah and for example at the technical section Poop was the only one who was jumping over the thing and yeah. she always got a bit, bit of a gap yeah and did you expect like all this every single time okay i'm gonna get get this gap back or how was it uh, yeah, well, I knew yesterday already because we saw that she was jumping them and we also saw that it, she did it in a way that she would be able to do it in the race as well. So um, then you have an advantage there because you don't need to jump on your bike, you don't need to find your pedals, you straight away can push the pedals. Um, but I did. I was just hoping that, that my strength, my age, <laughs> was a little bit in advantage there in the end of the race. But you also see that they they're really really close with the level two mine uh, on that point as well. So technically they are both, and uh, physically they they it's really close to each other. And uh, I just said already, if it stays like this next year, we're not gonna win the race here anymore. <laughs> The yeah. last question with the beat Hungarian one because we're from Hungary. Mm -hmm. It's 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 just weird to see like there are seven Dutch riders and Kata yeah. on her own. And how, how was it like for example in this sense like last last lap she was closed out a bit. But how do you like how how interesting it is that someone like from another country that is not really cyclocross enthusiast gets there and she's on a on a level that yeah. it's really good. I'm really happy that she chose to keep doing cyclocross because sometimes you see that uh, when, uh, older, uh, when they get older like she's also good in mountain bike and road so you need to make cha uh, choices and I'm really happy that she keeps uh, doing cyclocross because uh, uh, yeah it, it's good for the sport that it's international and uh, it's very uh, red white and blue <laughs> but um, yeah we are I think we all are very happy to have other nationalities also with Europeans you saw a few uh, French riders who are getting stronger and stronger so I'm really uh, yeah, sh uh, cheering it on.